I sowed some extra sweet bell peppers. California Wonders. Same ones I usually grow every year. But it's quite late in the year to be fair to be growing peppers. They need such a long growing season. But I thought I'll get some done and I'll try and grow them as big as I can before we get to end of the season. And if we get some more often, then brilliant. But if we don't, then we'll just have to overwinter them and see if we can come back early next spring with bigger plants that's already established. So I'm gonna prick some out and pop them in here. That was 24, so that's probably gonna be plenty. Obviously, I'm not sure how compacted these roots are going to be with it being multi-sown, but there's only one way to find out, and that's to dig a couple out. just easing it out and that's really surprising for a plant that size to have so many roots already it's only a tiny little seedling and you can see it's only just started to get its first true leaf on it but it has roots to that extent so I think looking at that it's a good thing we are taking them out now because the roots had only got bigger and more tangled. So I'll just get some compost in here and we'll get them in. And because I want to make really nice compact plugs when we eventually take them out and move them on, I'm going to just bed this compost down a little bit. So now we've packed that down nicely, we'll just top it back off again. Then I'm going to get a good watering because it always seems easier to get your little seedlings in once it's been watered. Plus it's quite hot today so we'll give them a good watering. Now we're going to have to make some holes to get this in and obviously that's a bit bigger than I thought it would be. And we can shake away some compost like that. So I'm going to have to make this hole a bit bigger than normal. And then we'll get this little fella in. So I'll just lay it on top like that and then we'll push those roots in. We'll get that nice and deep in there and then firm it in. And that went in perfect so we'll just make some more holes assuming that they're all gonna have an extensive root system already like that one so we'll go in again and we'll keep trying to get the biggest ones we'll see what this one's like I can feel a bit of tension on this root That one's not too bad, but still got plenty of roots on it. So we'll get this one pushed in as well. Same as before, get the roots in, then push it right down like that. And firm it in, nice, upright, stable plants. So we'll just carry on and get this tray filled and I've decided to do it today because with this drastic change in weather it's going to force some extra growth so the more room these have got the quicker they're going to grow and that with peppers that's exactly what we need. So around 10 minutes later not long at all and we've got 24 sweet bell pepper seedlings moved on and as I said hopefully we'll have enough time to get these growing and get something from them and I've still got a few of these oak leaf lettuces left and it's a shame to waste them because it's a really nice lettuce so I'm going to take some of these out as well get them growing on over the next couple of weeks so basically the same thing as before fill it pack it down and then we'll water it all
we'll have a look, see what roots are like on these as well, because some, some of them are quite big as you can see. I'll just poke this out through the bottom with a pencil. That's going to save me pulling too much on the top of this plant. And again, quite a lot of roots on these. But if you've never tried oak leaf lettuce before, I would suggest trying it because it's got a really nice taste to it. I'll stick a link in the description for some seeds. So I want to make these holes really deep right to the bottom. And see if we can get this little plug in. I'm trying to push it down as deep as I can because you want your lettuces to be really stable as you can see there's lots and lots of roots on these little things I think we'll do one plant every other one just to give me a bit of extra room to grow If you look at this one, it's already started to get root bound. So good thing we're moving them on. This one's got two plants growing together in the same plug, but I'm not gonna bother separating them. They can just go in as they are. And that's the last one for those going in. So we've got a nice pack of oak leaf lettuce there. And we've done them every other one just to allow them that little bit of extra room to grow. Because I've got a funny feeling with this weather, things are going to grow really quick over the next couple of weeks. Anyway, I'm going to take a look now and see what else that I need to do today. But I'll see you on the next video. And if you want to keep watching this kind of content, just hit that subscribe button and press that notifications bell. And we'll see you next time. You all take care.